Nick Kamania out of 2025, four or five star wing, depending on what you look at. He has released his list of uh, five schools, obviously. Arizona was in this, but this feels more, this is starting to feel a little bit better than the, uh, well, you know, uh, um, uh, difficult, ultimately difficult to land tweets that we will get from Sheer. Arizona is all in. They are all invested, all money in. Yeah, this is as big of a priority as anyone. I'm not putting anyone else down like Coapita or anything. It's still priority and all that. But TJ Benson flew to Hungary to see Kamania in a three-on-three FIBA tournament. Only assistant coach there. No other head coach was there. Houston was there for someone else. And then a Duke women's coach was there for a girl. So uh, congrats to them. But uh, yeah, I mean, and then he's taking an official visit this weekend as well. So they're all in on, on this kid. All right, let me ask you this, Sheer. Would you uh, would you put it more likely that Arizona gets Nick Kamania or Braden Burries? Ooh, that's close. That is a good one. That is a good, one. a good one. I'm not sure there's I could put an edge. Oh, don't come on. I, I will say this. Kamania has at least narrowed it down. Like, I think it's probably UCLA, Gonzaga, and Arizona. Uh, Burries is still looking at, like, every school. Right. Yeah. Uh, so again, but Nick Kamania, this is the old, this is the kid that generally looks like he ends up at Gonzaga though, but maybe Tommy Lloyd is saying, nope, 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 nope. We will take a pretty big win by Arizona if they could get him from Gonzaga. Cause it, it's been widely recognized that Gonzaga is the leader, but I mean, Arizona's done a good job. And, and the one thing that stands out is in an interview with us, Kamania said that he pays very, very close attention to who's watching him. And, and when, and then Arizona goes all the way to Hungary. So Arizona knows what it's doing in terms of what he wants to see. Did Murph slither his way all the way over to Hungary? Is he there? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's just TJ. Oh, well, we like TJ as well. TJ, Murph 2.0. We very much like those guys. Very, very hard workers. Um, So Nick Kamania, though. 2025, we've been talking about this, Skier. This is the one class that I think Arizona's got to uh, – for a domestic high school recruiting, this has got to be the one that you get multiple five stars. You got to be really, really good. In my opinion, you got to be able to get a, a Nick Kamania or a, a, I almost said a Todd Pete, a Koa Pete, and you got to sprinkle it in with some other uh, uh, scrumptious items as well. But Arizona's got to be able to, in my opinion, do well in the 2025 recruiting class. Todd Pete, too. Koa, Todd, who's the other one? Oh, there was Andrews, uh, Cassius. Yeah, let's get all of them. There's also a walk on, I think, at ASU. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, all right. In there. Right. So is Arizona get, uh, does, so does, let me ask you this, Skier, let me ask you this, because Sheer b- totally backed away from it. Does Arizona get multiple five-star players? Oh, I mean, it's Kamania, Burries, Pete. Yeah, screw it. Why not? No one will ever remember this. You're saying that yeah. Arizona's essentially going to recreate the Fab Five in 2025. You just said that. Fab Six, probably. Fab six takes a back seat to nobody, but Nick Kamania would be a very nice fit here at the U of A. We both agree with this. And you know what I like about Kamania too? Looks like a multi-year player. Also, Tunde. Um, yeah, I do not believe Arizona that he comes to Arizona. I believe Tunde is going to the highest bidder, and that is not a put down. Yeah, Tunde is going to the highest bidder in a, in a school that could probably bring his parents to the United States. And right now, I don't think that's Arizona. <laughs> Y'all silly like the mayor. 